Good morning. Good morning. Are you having any pain? Yeah. Oh. 1A is scored as a zero because he was alert and answered my questions. Can you tell me um, what the month is? Uh, and can you tell me how old you are? Uh, 1B was scored as a 2 because this patient answered both questions incorrectly. Can you close your eyes? Good. Now open your eyes. Can you open your eyes? Good. Okay. I'm just going to get your arm here. Can you give me a big squeeze here? Good. And let go. Can you let go? Very good. 1C would be scored as a zero because he was both able to open and close his fist as well as open and close his eyes. Okay, I'm going to check how your eyes are moving now, okay? Can you look right at me? Can you use your eyes to look at me? Good. Just follow my eyes. Follow my face with your eyes, okay? Just look right at me. Follow me. See me? Look right at my face. Follow me. Follow me all the way over here. Follow me all the way to this left, your right side. All the way over here. You follow me all the way over here. That's it. Very good. Very good. Two was scored as a zero because he was able to look to extremes of gaze horizontally. Can you look right at my nose? Look right at my nose. I'm going to be testing your peripheral vision. How many fingers do you see? Three. Okay, you look right at my nose. How many fingers do you see? Two. Okay, try to concentrate right on my nose. How many fingers? You're doing just fine. Look right at my nose. You see any fingers? How many fingers do you see? Two. Okay. Look right at my nose. How many fingers? Three. Okay. How many fingers do you see? Okay. How many fingers do you see? Look right at my nose. See any fingers? How many do you see? Three. Okay. Hope. Oh. Mm. Right at my nose. Okay. Keep looking at my nose. Okay. Good. Keep looking right at my nose. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna try the other eye. Okay. Okay, look right at my nose. Okay, look right at my nose. Okay. Three was scored as a zero because he was able to blink to thread in all four visual quadrants. This patient demonstrates the difficulty of testing visual fields in an aphasic patient. Show me your teeth. Good. Close your eyes tightly. Good. Okay. You make your eyebrows go up. You can open your eyes. Make your eyebrows go up really big. Can you open your eyes? Okay. Good. Four is scored as a two because he shows a clear-cut upper motor neuron facial weakness. Can you lift up this arm off the bed? Hold it up here. Just really extend it out there. Good. And we're going to do this for the count of ten, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you can relax that one down. 5A was scored as a two because the patient's arm eventually hit the bed. 
just going to extend this arm straight out. Try your best. That's it. Excellent. Just hold it there for a count of ten, okay? Hold it right up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Relax that hand down. 5B is scored as a 1. Now I want you to lift up your left leg. I'm just going to help you here a little bit. Okay. Just going to hold it for the count of five. Okay. I'm going to let go. One, two. Okay. Can you move your left leg? 6A was scored as a 3. This was not scored as a 4 because some movement was possible. Okay, I'm going to help you lifting this up. Just lift it up in the air and try to hold it here the best you can, okay? 1, 2. Now let's try the right leg. Okay. 6B was also scored as a 3. This was not scored as a 4 because some proximal movement was possible. Can you touch my finger here? Can you try to touch my finger? That's it. Excellent. Now touch your nose. Touch your nose. Good. And touch my finger again. Touch my finger. Can you touch my finger? That's it. Come and touch my finger. Okay, let's try the other arm, okay? You can relax this one. You try with this one. You touch my finger with your finger. Can you reach my finger with your finger? Can you touch my finger here? Okay, can you touch your nose with this finger? Good, good. Try and touch my finger. That's it, that's it. Good, keep going. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with the legs now. Just want to have you run your heel up and down your shin, and I'm going to help you a little bit here. Can you run your heel up and down your shin? Okay. We'll try the other side, okay? Just going to move this leg, bend your knee a little bit. Mm. That hurt. Can you mm. run your heel up and down your shin? Okay. Seven was scored as a zero. Even though this patient is weak, he scored a zero because no ataxy was demonstrated. Okay, I'm just going to see if you can feel this sensation here. Mm. Let's try the other side, okay? Mm. Okay. I'm going to try it on the foot here, okay? Mm. Okay. All right. This side here. Mm. Okay. Eight was scored as a zero because he withdrew from painful stimuli on both sides. I'm going to put on your glasses here so that you can see. Okay. Can you describe what's going on in this picture? Okay. I'll try this one. Can you name this? What is this? Since you're having some problems naming these verbally, let's see if you can do any writing here. I'm going to give you this pen. Can you hold on to the pen? Good. And here we have a, a piece of paper to write with. Can you write what, what this object is here? Can you tell me by writing what this is? Nine is scored as a two. Threes are reserved for patients who are mute 
and unable to follow single step commands. Can you read this? Tan is scored as a two due to his unintelligible speech. I want you to close your eyes and tell me if I'm touching you on the right side, the left side, or both, okay? Can you feel me touching you? Mm. Yeah. Is it the right side or the left side, or both? Okay. Okay, you can open your eyes. Eleven is scored as a zero. Despite his aphasia, he was able to attend to both sides. This patient's total NIH stroke scale score is a 17.